that is good good morning you guys today's a busy day it's a busy week actually for me coffee is one of the ways that i survive as a college student that also runs a business and does a million other things i woke up at five it's already 6 30. i've gotten ready made breakfast eaten breakfast and made my coffee super fast i'm gonna do a little what's my backpack while i pack it i always bring my computer airpods my ipad notebook my current daily journal this journal a whole pencil pouch i'll show it to you when i get to class more pens my wallet computer charger my pen that i use to daily journal I just clip it on the side right there for easy access and then my water bottle and I bring my coffee So if you're ever wondering why this tiny little person has such a big backpack, it's because I carry so many things in it <laughs> Here's the final fit check. Got some cute shoes. We're ready to head out Behind the scenes I set up my camera walk through the door And then once I'm in my classroom, I turn right back around Go grab my camera. Hi. And then I'm gonna go set this camera up right here so that you can see the door. And then we come back out. In and out, in and out. And then we walk back through like this. Look at that empty lecture hall. And then I'm going straight to my seat. Oh my goodness. We made it. Really quick, I just wanted to say thank you so much to Pentel for sponsoring today's video. This week is actually Pentel week from March 19th to the 25th, and you can get a ton of exclusive deals on the Pentel website as well as Amazon. The links and all the details will be in the description. Also, make sure to check out my Instagram. I have a giveaway going on, so definitely go check that out over there and enter. It ends on March 22nd, my 21st birthday, so make sure to check it out. I forgot that I'm also supposed to be filming an Instagram reel of like the day in my life. I definitely need to start that. I think I'll just use this extra time here in the morning to kind of start it now. So this is what my class schedule looks like for today and if you look at my very first class it starts at 8 30 and it is not even 7 a.m right now so you might be thinking carrie why the heck are you there that early well it's because i'm crazy i usually get here super early like an hour to an hour and a half early this is like my me time i love being in this empty lecture hall with no one here and i can just get stuff done and be productive i started doing that this semester and it's because i have clinicals on tuesday and i have to be at the hospital at 6 45 in the morning so i was like if i get in a routine of getting up really early every day and being productive then getting up for clinicals won't be as bad and coming here first thing in the morning holds me accountable to that I want to show you what I bring in my pencil pouch I have separation anxiety from my stationery so I bring everything with me not everything but like a lot of things because you never know when you're gonna need it you always got to be prepared I have my mild liners and my Pentel Energel pens. This is like the 20 pack of all of the colors. And then I have like all of the mild liner colors. I think there's like 30. The Pentel Energel pens are what I use for like my note taking and my homework and stuff. I love color coding things. In this small pocket, I have my signed brush pens. I also have a black one that I use quite often. I think that's in this pouch here. These are my favorite small hand lettering pens. And then this pocket has a bunch of different random things. These are the Pentel Handyline S highlighters. Really like these, they're very vibrant. I always have a pencil just in case. You never know when you're gonna need it. This is also from Pentel. It's a little twist eraser, which I really, really love. A couple Sharpies, I feel like they're just good to have. This is that black sign pen that I mentioned. And then this is a Tombow brush pen. And then I also have these Pentel point liners. They come in a bunch of different sizes, which I really like. I'm gonna make that to-do list real quick in my journal. To-do lists are literally how I survive. I am constantly doing so many things and you have to stay organized. If you wanna run a business on top of school. This is the daily journaling pen that I use. I love the pearl barrel of the Pentel Energel pen. And then I also got out these different colors and I specifically picked out the Energel pens that match the colors of the sign pens. I also have the black one and then I got out the 0.8 point liner. I think that this size is like my favorite one because I tend to like a thicker line. I'm just going to use the point liner to outline it. Then I'm going to use the black sign pen to just make a shadow on all of the right side edges. I think it turned out quite nicely. I lined this up here just so that it looks aesthetic so that I can get like pictures and video. The thing about capturing content is that I feel like it levels up and challenges my typical creativity. I like making like pretty to-do lists and things like that. And I think it's just like really interesting to have that additional layer of presentation with the things that I create. It's 8 a.m. now. I'm just gonna put this stuff away and get out my computer and just kind of organize myself a little bit more before my class starts at 8.30. Maybe get a little bit of homework done. Go anywhere? 
This is also our first day back from spring break, so we're all a little dead right now. Are you vlogging? I am. Do you want to be on the vlog? You look tan. Yeah. That's so tan. Oh my gosh. This is Aniston, Mads, Juju, Campbell, Izzy, Nora. Anjali's not here yet. She normally sits right here. She's running late. Anjali's here now. I'm here. It's after class. I'm doing some like note taking in between classes. This whole first line, I don't know what any of this means. Hey vlog, it's Mads. <laughs> I like that. Hey vlog. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe oh if you gosh. aren't already. We're rating the School of Nursing fridge right now. Which one's better? Which one's better? The School of Nursing feeds us because they love us, so I got some mac and cheese. I just got home. It is time to grind now. I would love to take a nap, but I simply do not have time for that today. I just made myself a wrap for lunch. I'm going to be eating that. I need to update my to-do list because I haven't done that all day. And then I need to get to work. Pharmacology, patho, and case-based learning. Right now, I'm going to work on my clinical pre-work. Now that I'm done with the research, I am going to be copying it down on paper. So we have to turn in a hard copy and I don't have a printer. I got some supplies that I think I'm going to use. I'm going to play around with the Kuro pens. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. And then I think I'm going to use the highlighters, the sign pen, just because I love the sign pens. And then one of the point liners. I wanted to compare the Sharpie highlighters to the Handy Line S highlighters. All right, I'm going to do the Sharpie first. And now I'm going to do the Pentel ones. I'm actually really surprised by this. The Pentel ones are so much brighter, and personally, I love that look a lot more. And I am all done. That took so long. I used the Kuro pens to write on like the colored ink and then the highlighters for here and here. Made it a little cute. My clinical instructor and I talk about stuff like bullet journaling all the time. So I have a feeling she's going to appreciate that I did it in colorful pens. Now I need to update my journal. Checking the clinical pre-work. And then so for the farm notes, I finished all of the notes. I did it on my computer in between my classes. Usually what I do is I type them up first and then I will write them down because pharmacology is hard. I'll show you just real quick how they look. This was for like the first chapter so it was like the super easy content. I feel like you can really spice up notes super easily just by using colorful pens. Like I use the Petal Energel pens. The colorful ones literally non-stop when I take my notes. And yeah, I don't know. I think they look pretty cute. So you can see like here I use like different colors for different things. I'll highlight like a definition and like at the start of every chapter I'll just use the sign brush pen just to like make it look a little fancier. I'll like underline different things, do different headings in different colors, and it makes it a lot more visually appealing in my opinion which helps me a lot when I'm studying because if you're just looking at a page full of boring bland notes to me it's not as enjoyable to study and then I'm like less likely to study. So I'm also going to check off the farm notes since I typed them up already and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the farm quiz. Now it's time to clean my room. It's honestly not too bad. You can see the floor, but it's really bad out here. It looks like a stationary explosion happened because it kind of did. I was filming my Pentel unboxing the other day and I just haven't cleaned it up yet. I cleaned up my room. I didn't make my bed because I'm literally gonna be sleeping in it in a couple hours. My film space though is looking so much better. I put everything back up on my desk, moved my journals back to where they should be. Look at all of my Pentel stuff. I still need to find a home for it all, so I literally just put it all here for now. And then in this box, I have some stuff that I already opened. But yeah, seriously, like this is an entire Pentel store <laughs> on my floor over here. And I have all of this stationery over here too. And the stationery that is in my pencil pouch. So yeah. It's an addiction, people. Oh, and there's more stuff down here. First of all, I changed into my pajamas. Second of all, I'm gonna go ahead and update my to-do list. I'm still filming my Instagram reel, so I'm just gonna film me checking it off. And then I also want to post on Instagram, so I'm gonna add that to my to-do list just so that I feel extra productive. 
Also, my friend Izzy is gonna be coming over. So yesterday I posted this on my Instagram and today I'm just gonna be posting like a slightly different version of it. One of my new year's resolutions was to be more active on Instagram and I've definitely done a really good job at it. Look at all of these beautiful Instagram posts. But man, it is so hard to be active on Instagram on top of school. Like it takes two seconds to physically post, but to actually take the time to create content, take a picture of it, make sure the lighting's right and then edit the picture so that it like is bright and colorful and pretty. And then write up the caption and actually post it. Like it's a little bit of a process and when I get really busy with school, it's always just like really hard for me to take the time to do that. My camera roll always looks so crazy. This is some stuff that I was doing for Pentel. Just like some ideas of things. You can tell I take like a million bajillion different pictures and eventually I hope one will stick. And then I have to figure out which one I like, edit them. And it's midterm season. I have two midterms due this week. I have my clinical tomorrow. I have a paper due next week. I have a midterm next week on my birthday and it has a 16 page study guide. So it's a busy time. I'm gonna go ahead and post though. <laughs> there it is, beautiful. Make sure to go follow me over there if you haven't already. Also I'm filming this before I announce the giveaway, but once this video is uploaded as you're seeing it, the giveaway is already live. So check my Instagram for the giveaway post. You know how I said I have two midterms this week? One of them is due on Wednesday and then the other one is due Thursday or Friday, but they're on your own. You just like do it on the computer. They're not synchronous in class. The one next week is though, which stinks because that's the one that's on my birthday. So I'm adding more things to my to-do list. I love that I use each color three times. I was really hoping I'd also have time to do some artsy fartsy things. This is my everything bullet journal. Look how cute it is. I don't think I'm gonna have time to today just because I have too many things on my to-do list already. It's literally almost 7 p.m. and I have clinical tomorrow, which means I have to be at the hospital at 6.45 in the morning. I'm taking two midterms, but they're like pretty easy. So I'm not really worried about it. I feel like both of them total will probably take an hour combined. One of them is like a midterm and the other one is open note, but I also need to edit my video and go to bed at a decent time. Anyway, I've been trying to do stuff in here more. I did this one the other day. This one is started, but I never finished it because I've been busy. And then this one I just did. Love how this one turned out. I used the dual metallic brush pens from Pentel and then the sparkle pop pens. <laughs> I feel like this quote is very fitting for today's video because I clearly have so much stationery. I thought I would go through my emails, my work email and my school email. Shouldn't take too long. I try my best to stay on top of it. I was planning on emailing Pentel to give them a little bit of an update, but I think I'm going to do that tomorrow because I'm hoping I can get my video done and then send the update rather than being like the video's almost done. Anyway, I'm gonna go through my email real quick. Oh, I need to get a clip for the Instagram reel. I always forget. I'm just gonna set my phone up right there. I'm editing the unboxing video that's already up and live on my channel by the time you're seeing this video. So go watch it if you haven't already. But I wanted to give you guys a behind the scenes. So ignore my dirty computer screen, but this is what it looks like. It has been taking me a million years to edit this video because if you zoom in, you can see that there are so many tiny teeny little edits and it's a really long video and I'm not done yet and it's taking so long, but I'm almost done. And once I'm finished with it, I'm gonna send it in for a review for Pentel just so that we're on the same page and then I'm gonna be uploading it later this week. And then this video, I'm hoping to edit tomorrow after my clinical and get it in as quickly as I can. Look who it is! Yay! Hey. Hey. Look what is he, Rafi? It's 11 p.m. Izzy and I have been grinding. I feel like the time went by really fast. It really did. We literally have been sitting here in silence for however many hours. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be at the hospital in less than eight hours. I need to go update my to-do list and journal for the night and go to bed. The fact that literally every day this week is gonna be like today. <sighs> but I got a lot done today and that's what matters. Time to update the to-do list. I didn't finish the YouTube video, I just have to add music to it. And then I started the midterms but didn't finish them because there's no time limit. But I checked them off anyway to make myself feel good. And now all I have to do left is journal. I really wanted to make like a nice pretty spread, a layout of just like colorful, fun, artsy things in here. But I really need to get to bed. So just do a typical black and white journal entry for the last chunk of this page. I'm finishing up with my journal entry and just remembered I need to Instagram reel this. I don't even know if this is gonna be in frame. Maybe I should hold the phone instead. There we go. Thank you so much for watching and thank you again to Pentel for sponsoring today's video. And make sure to check out the description for all the information if you're interested with all things Pentel week. But anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope I can get some sleep and maintain some bits of sanity. Anyway, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Ooh, the camera's falling. <laughs>